So last May, Rick and I traveled up to Atlanta, Georgia, and we went to the International Sign Association Sign Expo. And we did a bunch of episodes and a bunch of interviews with people in the industry about the latest and greatest technology coming out. Mm -hmm. And when we went by the HP booth, man, I just fell in love with those brand new HP 800 latex inkjet printers. Yep, yes you did. And uh, I was not in that episode, I was watching from the other side of the camera. And I thought we were going to have to drag this guy out of the booth, man. He was like, you were drooling over those things. Yes, I was. And that's because we've been running HP printers for probably like 16, 17 years now. And our printers drive the wrap division of our shop. We wrap about 70 vehicles a month, every single month, and put between 25 and 30,000 square feet a month through our HP printers. The printers we have now are the 570 versions, and we have over 1.3 million square feet on the two of those combined in the last five years. They are straight work beasts, but they are getting a little tired. So when our friends from Grimco said that they had two new demo printers that were looking for a good home, we said, hell yeah, bring those things right over here. So in just a few days, we're going to be the proud owners of two new HP 800 latex inkjet printers. Yeah, dude, you, you might need to sit down or breathe into a paper bag. You sound like you're about to hyperventilate. Here, <laughs> I man. am, man. I'm excited. I'm ready. So Dell and Jason are going absolutely batshit crazy waiting on our new printers to get here. And of course, the way things go around here, uh, they go to lunch and the truck pulls up right as soon as everybody goes to lunch. I'm talking Dale, Rick, Jason, everybody's gone except for me. I'm sitting there just like, oh, I have nobody here. The delivery truck shows up with two huge printers and two guys with the truck. I'm looking at these printers thinking to myself, holy crap, there's no way that these things are going to come out. So I measured the printer and then I measured the drop down gate just to make sure. And sure enough, it's barely going to fit. We got just a couple, about three inches. Woo. So we got about three inches on it. I'm trying to get more guys on the phone. And before I realize it, this guy is pulling this thing out on the gate. And these things are heavy as shit. Watch that wheel don't come off that edge. I don't know how far we can get that way. Whoa, whoa, watch that wheel. That's that left wheel. Whoa. As the guy's pulling on it, I looked up and all I saw was this thing getting ready to roll off and it straight scared the hell out of me. And when I looked up, I realized this guy is pushing it back up on the truck with his head. I, I was just flabbergasted with this. Thank God Dale was at lunch, man, because he would have lost his shit. So I told him to hold on until we can get a couple extra guys over here. So when you first saw this printer, them trying to take this printer off, when you first walked up, what was going through your mind? I figured I was going to watch $60,000 fall into the concrete. I, I was, it wouldn't have surprised me. The guy, you know, trying to yank the thing off by himself and then, like, lifting it back up with his head was not ideal. That's not the ideal way to uh, unload something like that. So now we got six guys over here trying to get these really expensive printers off the back of this truck without them crashing into the ground. With everyone there trying to stabilize it, we were able to get the printer to turn sideways on the platform without it falling off. Lock it. Lock it. Lock your wheels. But it was real sketchy. And that huge ass printer came right down to the ground in one piece. I was so happy. Yep, now there's one more to go. The second printer was even more of a problem than the first printer because we realized it was backwards on the truck, so we couldn't get the control panel out the same way we did the first one. The difference between the two printers when they were in the truck is one was sitting this way with the control panel forward, the other one was sitting this way with the control panel to the back. So this one, the control panel came right out and it slid right now. Now when we tried to pull this one out and spin it, the control panel kept hitting the side of the door. And there was no way we could actually pull it out far enough because the wheels were rolling off the platform. Everyone was trying to give me some half-assed idea on what to do. Then me and Robert came up with a solution, the forklift. What could possibly go wrong? Our plan was just to use our heads. Like we, we unload oversized stuff with a lift gate all the time with the lift gate and the forklift. I don't know why anybody was trying to do it by hand. The forklift has the pallet. The plywood's just to give it a, a flat spot for everything to sit. But the forklift is in the is under the pallet. The plywood's on top of that. The plywood's also on top of the, the lift gate. So once you're on that, it can't go anywhere. It's just as stable as sitting on the floor. You just have to go down at the same time. 
So that's the key. The key is yeah. The the, the key for using the lift gate like that is just communication and when the lift gate starts to go down the forklift has to go down at the same speed what happens if they don't it's on wheels it's all cockeyed and starts rolling what happens then then you throw sixty thousand dollars on the floor Anybody, uh, yeah, we went. Just a little bit ready Rob yep. go 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 all right nice and easy nice and easy The new expended platforms held beautifully. Both of them came down together in sync, right to the ground. Perfect execution. That's exactly what I expected to happen. You know, me and Tim's playing worked fine. As intended. And the best part is, Dale doesn't have to know how close we actually came to destroying his printers. Shh, we'll keep that on the down low. Dale would have had a complete conniption. Holy crap. Yeah, no, Dale would not have been happy. He gets a little skittish with stuff like that already, so no. He probably would have fainted when the wheel fell off the, uh, the lift gate. It fell right out. All right, so these are our brand new HP 800 Latex printers. These are the best process printers that there are. If you haven't made the jump from solvents to latex, latex is way better. It's much more controllable, and you don't have all the HEPA and EPA regulations. You don't have to run a charcoal filter. These machines are fantastic. We uh, have been using latex ink ever since the first generation of HP latex printers, the L25500, and um, we've seen it evolve, too. This technology keeps getting better and better and better. Uh, some of the new features that you'll find on this 800 are a bulk ink system. They introduced this a few systems back, but this is completely a bulk system. It doesn't have an ink well, it just draws straight from the three liter containers. Three liter containers, uh, you know, where we're cranking out vinyl constantly, these things still last several months. So it's a really great bulk system. It helps us save money on our ink cost. They've really advanced the heating uh, system. Uh, it uses heat to dry the latex ink, um, but this machine doesn't require as much heat. They've really compacted it. They kept it all contained. Uh, and where we were at 205 and 208 degrees to cure our latex ink, before this one's running at 198 so it's cooler in here even with both machines running it's a, a noticeable difference uh, these machines are also much faster they print way faster than our other machines they spit these prints out so fast with so much quality it's fantastic previously these machines uh, would give you an extra 20% of saturation the new uh, setup has this at 70% saturation so I have a lot of room to add a lot of extra ink putting that extra ink down gives us more consistency and richer color in order to make loading and unloading the material uh, easier, they've made this entire curing module uh, movable. It moves up out of your way. Uh, I, I've got my vinyl in the way, but this helps you access all the, the media so it's easy to load and unload. And then this payout system actually will swivel forward so that you can get to it easier as well. Uh, and also, where they used to have a, a weighted gravity bar that, as it dropped, would pull it up, this one's completely mechanical. You just give the it a spin and it takes itself up. It's really neat technology. This uh, gives you easy access to the print head. You can see uh, where you used to have to move the print head out from here. Uh, you can just lift the hood here and it's kind of like working under the hood. You now have easy access to the print head. You can see that the print head is actually wider, uh, so it lays down a wider swath of ink. It helps you print faster. Uh, these machines are extremely impressive. Uh, we're really glad that we got them and they're making a huge difference here in our shop. <laughs> oh my god, these printers are so awesome, and now that they're in there and running, it's going to make this place so much more efficient and productive. Yeah, man, I tell you what, you're lucky you weren't here when we took them off the truck. When that thing almost <laughs> rolled off the lift gate, you would have had a heart attack, right? You think you were hyperventilating before? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the guy was holding it up with his bean, you know, <laughs> some crazy stuff happens here at the shop. But listen, these were demo machines, and that's not how HP sends them. They're usually in these nice, beautiful crates. You know, this was just a special exception, uh, you know, on this particular thing. But hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Definitely check out HP printers. Check out Grimco. They're awesome people. We've worked with mm -hmm. them for years and years. Hope you're enjoying everything. If you are, subscribe, hit the like button. Leave some comments and questions. All those guys we met out at the ISA show in Vegas this year, we'd sure like to hear from you guys. Yeah. Talk to you soon. Right. Here, just in case you're still hyperventilating. I don't need no bag. Come on.